Let me know Do I still got time to grow? Things ain't always set in stone Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Imari, also known as Soul Style Beauty. And today we are doing... I can't with this alarm. Okay. <laughs> so today, we're actually filming this spring makeup look. I absolutely love the eyes. I hope that you guys really enjoy this too. So yeah, like I said, today I got woke up. I felt good. I was like, I'm not going to stay in the house. I'm actually going to go and take a walk for like five minutes just to clear my mental space and just have like a music therapy walk. I love music. I love clearly to be outside. So I'm kind of suffocating in my apartment. But let me know how you guys are holding up down below. And let's get into this makeup look. So I am going to start off using the Milk Hydro Group Primer. I feel like my skin has been completely combination um, skin for right now. So I think that this gives a perfect balance for combination skin. And it feels super, super good on the skin. I should have honestly listened to the lady at um, Safari. She said, you know, you might as well buy a big one. And I was like, oh no, I'm okay. I'm just trying it out. But girl, this is amazing. Okay, so next I'm going to go on with my two favorite foundations. So this is the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation and this is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. And I just think like mixing them together is a perfect match. So I totally forgot to tell you guys the foundation shade. So the Super Stay Foundation by Maybelline is in the shade 355 Coconut. It can be a little bit on the cool tone side. I'm not that cool. So I like mixing this with the Fenty Pro Hydrating um, Longwear Foundation in the shade 430. And together they just make a beautiful shade for me. So as usual, I'm going to start out with my Fenty Beauty Concealer. And I love to use that as an eyeshadow base. I just feel like they make the colors, you know. It makes the colors pop. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the Morphe. Ooh, one of my shades are coming out. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the Morphe 350. Oh, I hope that you guys can see this. If not, then I'll just input a clip of the color that I'm using as my transition shade. Lego. So next I'm going to go in with this orange shade from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. It's very old, y'all. This is like a throwback palette. Next, of course, I'm going to reach for the Jackie Ina palette. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Jackie, 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 Jackie. I'm going to use this um, color called Big Wig. I can't believe she named this color Big Wig. Like, I can just imagine her naming the colors and I'm just in her voice. Now I'm going to take that orange shade again and then just try to blend both of those colors together in the middle so we get like more of a seamless blend. And I want to go back into the Jackie Aina palette and make sure that this purple is popping. Now 
Next, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna take the shade Zam and I wanna lightly put that over the orange. Yes. It's pretty. So my lashes and liner are applied. So I'm gonna go in with my highlighting. Usually I do use this Fenty um, concealer as well for my highlighting. So now that it's all blended out, I'm going to go and apply my Fenty Setting Powder in the shade Honey. Alright y'all, we are moving, so I'm going back to under um, my eyes and I want to actually line them. So I'm going to go back in with this purple shade and I'm only going to like brush it underneath my eyes. I'm going to take the orange shade and dust it right underneath my eyes as well. I'm finally done with the eyes. Now I'm just going to finish up this look. Alright y'all, so my camera's dying so I have to zoom, 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 finish this up. So I'm going to dust off all that extra powder. Next, I'm gonna go in with this MAC blush called Raisin. I love it, it's an oldie but a goodie. 